this is Anna Rose reporting for Wink Ball from the Scotch Egg Challenge at the Canonbury Tavern. And I can tell we're in for an excellent night. I used to run a pub called The Ship at Wandsworth, which was a very famous uh, pub for drinking beer and having fun in. And we, uh, our biggest selling snack was the Scotch Egg. We started saying that we had the best Scotch Egg in the land and a lot of people disagreed with us, so we decided to try and test that with the competition in 2010. Ush was on Twitter and somebody said, my Scotch Egg's better than your Scotch Egg. And it's like, oh, and let's have a competition. And that's literally how the whole thing started. Forget the Olympics, forget uh, your swimming, your <laughs> cycling, whatever. This is the competition. The chefs love taking part in it, and, and it's a really good thing. It's like celebrating something quite humble that maybe wouldn't get the attention otherwise. It's a snack that kind of takes people's imagination, because in one way it doesn't make any sense. It's an egg inside a sausage. I mean, it's ludicrous. It's bad for you in a way, and it's nice. It's like the perfect hangover cure, and it's tasty as hell. They're a great pub treat. They're like something that you can just pick up in your hands and eat with a pint, so it's very much what we're about. We, as a restaurant, we sell 100 Scotch eggs a day on the back of last year. Well, what's not to like about a Scotch egg? Unless you're a vegan. A lot of people are trying quite interesting stuff, but a, a perfect Scotch egg really is a traditional Scotch egg. It's got to be crispy, it's got to be cooked properly, the yolk's got to be runny, and you've got to taste the sausage meat or the beef, but you've got to, it's got to be tasty. That's what it makes a good Scotch egg. Perfectly seasoned, a little bit of spice, yummy. No, overall, it's nice. Nice. It's all right. Like, I did a beef and pork scotch egg, mm -hmm. so it's um, just very basic. Um, very nice beef, very nice pork. Um, first time I've ever made a scotch egg, so. For the third time in six years, we think it's the third time in six years, the dry presents! The most ridiculous trophy <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> well, the Draper's arms, so they've won it. They're quite local to here. Um, I mean, all the eggs were tasted blind. We didn't know who the competitors were. This is the third time they won it in six years. Yeah, that egg's fantastic. I was quite nervous coming in. Didn't think that we were going to win because we were up against some really good people. So um, to win is amazing, absolutely amazing. So after eating all those scotch eggs, my brain is scrambled. However, it has been an exquisitely exciting night here tonight at the Canonbury Pub, Islington. This has been Anna Rose for Wink Ball.